In southern Utah tonight, it was a somber night at Paiute High School. The school held a candlelight vigil at their old gym and remembered and honored 16-year-old student Jacqueline Nunes. She was sadly shot and killed earlier this week. Law enforcement arrested a 17-year-old classmate. He's now facing charges for aggravated murder. Amanda Gilbert is live in Junction at the high school after talking to some of Jackie's friends. Amanda. Yeah, someone at Jackie's vigil said tonight, you have shown us that in our small community, we are one big family. Tonight was Paiute's homecoming wrestling duel, but it was also just a chance for this grieving community to come together. Ribbons on a light pole, the number seven, and words of love. It's clear Paiute High School misses Jackie Nunez. She was on the school's basketball, softball, and volleyball team. She was also a stat girl for the wrestling team. We've known her since she was a little girl. She is one of my daughter's good friends and her teammates, and she's just a big part of the community. Tonight, the Paiute homecoming wrestling duel started with a moment of silence. Jackie's chair is now covered with balloons, flowers, and her picture. But she would want us to celebrate. After the duel, the school held a candlelight vigil, sharing memories of their kind, energetic friend and leader. I love that she was always able to bring that joy into people's lives. Good afternoon. Sage Nowers grew up with Jackie. She was just really kind and funny and beautiful person. Sandra Holm and Jackie helped manage the wrestling team together this year. This is the first night I did it without her, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do it anymore. Sandra really wants people to know this. She's very much loved by everybody, and I hope she's doing good up there. The school gym was dark, lit by candles. But it was clear that this community is devastated. Yeah, everyone who spoke tonight was either crying or shaking. It was really hard to see. There's going to be another vigil for Jackie Sunday starting at 4 at the Circleville Community Center. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News. Amanda, thank you. Our thoughts are with the community tonight.